All right, we have a special, special guest from South City. He is the head coach of the Warriors. They just won Division 5 CCS, and they're going to the NorCal and probably win that too, and then win state after that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do our we're gonna do our best. <laughs> Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weights and bars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. We got Coach Cole huh? in the house, CCS Division Five champions. Um, yeah. You've been in the headlines. A little bit. <laughs> Still working on it, I guess. Um. So, I mean, this is pretty cool that we we have you here. Um, out of all the GSF Weekly Coach of the Week, you are the first one that actually joined us. Oh. And, uh, so this is this is a special moment. Um. Can you tell us a little bit about the journey um, this year so far? Well, it's been kind of kind of long, crazy, and fun all at the same time. Uh, just working with these guys, with the kids, you know, coming out from uh, when we started off in uh, February, you know, with all the, uh, the workouts in the weight room. And, you know, not too many kids showed up, but then slowly, you know, they start showing up because, you know, they had their uh, other sports that they had to go through. And then once everybody started, you know, coming around and then we started seeing the the kids that we we're going to have, uh, you know, I started thinking, oh, we might have a, a special thing going here because we had the kids from last year coming back. We weren't quite sure. So then once we knew that everybody was returning, uh, I think we had a good feeling that we might have a, a, a real good season, almost as good as uh, last year's. But we didn't know it was going to be this good. But I, I'm real glad that we're on this journey right now. No, I mean, is is this is this the first one in uh, school history for you guys, or like, or has it been some time since you guys got like a CCS championship? Oh, uh, this is the first time that we had a CCS championship since 1989. Wow, which was uh, which was our uh, the undefeated season of the school, and the last time they had one prior to that was uh, 1981. Wow, and then this is our first one, and then this is our first uh, NorCal invitation or playoff game that we're participating in very nice that's huge congrats on that that's that's thank amazing. you thank you so when mm -hmm. when um i was reading up on some of the articles written about you and your team um it says like at one point there were like football was canceled yeah i said uh before uh last year it was 2021 the year they didn't have a varsity team. They only had a, a JV squad. So, And then the years before that, the program was, wasn't doing too well. They, you know, they were, they lost most all their games. So then 2021 is when they just uh, folded the varsity program but kept the JV program. I think they were doing it for safety reasons because the kids were way too young and they weren't real competitive enough. So that's why there was no season at I believe twenty twenty one season. I see. What um so from your your background, you've been uh, a coach at South City for how long? I started here back in ninety three. And then um I think my last tenure here was twenty sixteen. I really can't remember. It was four years from uh twenty twenty one or five years. Because uh, I wasn't um, hired on as the uh, head coach back then. And then because uh, the original coach, uh, Coach Oka, who was at Cappuccino, he he moved over there and he took over the head job. So he left it here. And then that's when I, I decided, OK, let me put my hat in to be the head coach here. And then went through all the process. And then, you know, in the, the day, they didn't hire me. They hired someone else. So then I told uh, Coach Oka, Hey, they didn't hire me, so you know I'm not coaching now. And then he said, "Well, I don't have a DC. Why don't you come over here at Cap?" So, okay, so I'll be over at Cap. So then uh, I went over there. I coached with him for 
for four years, helped him over there, and then now he's doing good. He brought up his program. They finally went into a into the playoffs, and they moved up. And then two years ago, when I found out they were, you know, they were finding they're looking for another coach over here, and that's why I decided, well, let me go back, you know, and go see if uh, you know they'll take me this time. But then I found out that that uh, they're going to ask the old head coach, uh, Coach Morrow. They wanted him to see if he can come back and try to help the program. And then I, I talked to uh, Coach Morrow and I asked him, hey, I'm wanting to come back. You know, uh, I was going to try to take the head job, but if you're going to take it, and I don't mind being your, your D.C. And then he said, oh, sure, go ahead and come back. That'll make my decision a lot easier to come back. So then he came back as the head coach, and I came back as a, as a D.C. for him. Nice. And then, you know, this year they they uh, it worked out pretty good. And this year they uh, they gave me the program to help take over it. Nice. What what made you come back, coach? Uh, just watching the last four years, uh, what was going on with the school. And I'm a uh, I'm a soft city guy at heart. And it was like really bothering me to see the kids, you know, not going to be. I knew there's a lot of athletes here in the soft city area. And then it wasn't the same. You know, I was at cap, you know, we're winning games, losing games. But it didn't feel the same to me, you know. But every time I kept seeing that South City was was losing games, and then they end up losing the Bell game, that kind of you know bothered me, and I felt bad. I figured, well, let me just you know swallow my pride, come back, see if they take me, you know. Hopefully they'll take me back. And then you know, unfortunately they did. So I came back and we came to DC, and you know, just come here and uh, help out the best way I can for with uh, Coach Morrow. Nice. And uh, mm-hmm. one of the articles that I read, it says like you have uh, some of your your sons helping out or. Is yeah, that- I have uh, I pretty much like four of my boys helping out. Uh, I have my uh, one of my sons. He's my uh, my O.C. And then my, one of my younger sons, he's my D.C. And then my youngest son, I have him uh, being the head coach for the JV squad. And then um, when it's our games, he comes in and helps us out. And then I have another uh, – he's like my brother-in-law, but I consider him like my son because I raised him when he was little. He kind of helps me out uh, when uh, we're having games. He but He's up in the booth uh, talking to us on the headsets, letting us know what's uh, what's coming up with the other team or what are they running and, and stuff like that. Wow. So this is, a, this is a real family operation. I love it. Oh, yeah. We, we, need more, we, we need more of you out there, coach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. That's all I got. I got nothing left. <laughs> I got um, no more kids. <laughs> I mean, usually, you know, when 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 you watch shows like this, I mean, the concentration is on the athletes. We always had like athletes. And when I come across your story, I was like, man, we got to we got to talk to coach and ask him his motivation and, and where he sees the, so what, mm-hmm. what is your motivation and where do you see this program? Um, especially in your area, it sounds like the area has mm-hmm. been resurrected. Yeah. We're trying to, you know, see if we can compete with, uh, with all these bigger schools. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard cause we're you know, still a small school. We're trying to get more kids to come out to play football or pretty much all the sports here. So, you know, Doing good right now. Hopefully, it'll it'll show some of these kids that they can come out and join any sport. You know, a lot of kids didn't want to come out because they were doing. You know, this program was doing too good. So, and you know, hopefully that we're doing good now. They'll bring out more kids because there's a lot of athletes in the school. Like we, we're like some kids didn't come out this year because they wanted to take a break. And then shortly after a couple of weeks, we started winning. Now they're all like, "Oh, I want to come back next year." I'm like. You should have just came out this year. But, you know, we'll take them next year as long as they're coming out, you know, and uh, a lot of kids join other sports. Uh, my thing is just trying to get these kids just to come and uh, do sports and not hang out in the streets and, and getting in trouble. You know, my thing, you know, that's what I had. on. Uh, I started, I had, I had my kids. I was coaching them when they were at Pop Warner, you know, and then going out to junior high school. And then now they played under me in high school. And then now we're coaching together. You know, it feels feels good to have them on my staff and you know we go home and we talk about the games and then we're just 24 7 you know together with uh helping out the football program man that's awesome you mentioned something about february like everything started february well yes what did you guys what did you guys do different this year or what did you improve uh that led to this success so far i think just uh getting the kids into the weight room because uh we started you know 
just like week one or day one, nobody, even if you thought you knew how to lift, you know, we're just uh, trying to make sure that they have proper technique and lifting. And then when we uh, finally got their proper technique, we started getting everybody's maxes, how much, you know, kids weigh. And then we just uh, implemented a, a weightlifting program where we just started with just a bar for, you know, for the first week, just lifting with just a bar, you know, doing our technique with just a bar. And then every other day we just added, you know, weights onto the bar. We, it was slow. It was slow. And everybody's like, oh, just think of forever. I go, you just got to trust the process. You know, when we first started out, it was just a bar. Uh, the next two days, we added on two and a half on each side. And then every every other day, we just added two and a half pounds to the weight that they lifted last. And it kind of worked out because when we started maxing out, it was like, you know, their, their lifting you know, improved a lot and they got stronger. And everybody that was in there ended up with like, I think, 25 kids at the time. They were having fun, you know, rooting each other on. You know, everybody's lifting, you know, pretty much the heavy weights compared to what they used to lift. And everybody was all into having fun, you know, watching their other the other teammates lifting heavy weights and then they looked at, they, they figured they could do it and then they did. So as long as they, you know, lifted with proper technique, you know, they can get stuff done and they were just falling after one another. Nice. Well, I, I think having you on here is, is, is uh, going to be a, a big plus because, you know, we obviously want to get your message out there to the community mm -hmm. so that more kids will, will be interested. And I don't know if you know that, but th this, this guy right here, coach Andrew, he's a, professional strength and conditioning coach and he's done a lot of good things in the community in the south bay maybe you guys can exchange oh we would love to have him come out and and and, and do a little seminar for our team they'd love it yeah <laughs> you let me know when coach i'd love to yeah yeah that. we just gotta work on our our weight room because it's like all we really have is just a, a bench bar and and a couple of platforms so we're kind of like lift in old school you know we don't have like top of the line equipment we just gotta you know work with what we got. So that's what, you know, hopefully, you know, winning these games will help out, you know, getting our more money for this weight weight program or the weightlifting uh, room that we have. Yeah, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Think yeah, go ahead, Coach Andrew. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, even my, my facility that I have down here, it's like I just have platforms, weights and bars. Yeah. Like I, I keep it very, <laughs> very, very basic, very – yeah. You lift heavy weight, like you got to be strong to play this game. And you know, honestly, like I would, I would be honored to come down there, like come up there, and yeah, you yeah. know, see how these guys lift, see what we can fix, yeah. see what we can improve, and then all of a sudden, let you help. Hey, you guys are gonna go back to back if you do that. <laughs> that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be uh, can't wait to uh, to do that for sure. You just gotta make sure you hook up Coach Andrew and I with some uh, South City gear, Coach. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we can rep yeah. you guys. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, is, yeah, is there a that. is there any anybody uh, on the team that you kind of want to single out and talk about, um, just for exposure purposes? Like, who who are the guys that that are really uh, carrying this team right now? I think right now it, ha it has to be uh, two of my underclassmen. They were our, pretty much our team last year. So uh, one of them is uh, Darren Miller. He's uh, my wide receiver. Uh, Free safety DB, and then uh, our running back linebacker uh, Elijah Fields. Um, they kind of carried our team last year, and they were our, our two underclassmen last year as well. They were both sophomores, and we kind of um, we started doing good when they started, you know, performing. You know, uh, they started coming out running the ball, uh, Elijah, and then um, catching the ball and playing defense with uh, Darren. So and right now they're they play a lot better than they did last year. Now that they're older. They see what you know what they can do, and uh, hopefully, it'll it'll continue on for uh, next year since we got them for another year. Nice. So with with everything that's gone on, you're you're you you've been coaching for the past, I guess, more than ten years, right? Yeah. <laughs> what 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 have you learned uh, as as an individual from coaching? Uh, there's always going to be someone else that's that that's uh, better and and smarter than you are and you're not always right some other stuff that you know some other guys they might have a thing that is right you know think that you might think it's right but you know just because you think it's right the other person might be right as well so you got to take in consideration that he might be right in what he's trying to show or trying to teach and you just gotta you know let him you know just follow from you know what he's doing because everybody thinks that they're right but someone else can come up they could be right too 
And you can't just, you know, take it on. So I'm always right. So that you have to be able to, to listen to others, you know, because they might, you know, have something that will be worthwhile for you to, to listen to. So that's how, you know, when I, my, like my kids will have something to say, then, oh, okay, then you're probably right. I, must be, I might be doing this wrong. Or whatnot, and if they if it works out, then we'll just go with what they're doing. Nice. So communication is key, people. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a huge message, especially for like you know young coaches that are trying to like you know get yes. into it. Like, like what do you want to look for? You know, mm-hmm. for your staff. Like, how do you want to build your team? Because that foundation needs to be laid with the coaching staff before you can really build what that culture of that entire program is supposed to be. Yeah. So and you, that's and you that's have to get <laughs> Yeah, you have to get you along to, for sure. Get along. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My boys sometimes sometimes they don't get along, but I'm like, hey, hey, let's go. We gotta get along. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, hey, uh, we appreciate you making the time. I know you got practice. You got you got NorCal to prepare for. But before I let you go, like I said, you are this week's coach of the week. Who do you want to thank, Coach? I'd like to thank the God up above. If it wasn't for him, none of this would be possible. He's the only one that I would I'd like to thank most of all. All right. If without him, none of my success or none of my uh kids' success would happen. Then also I would like to thank the players because without the players, we wouldn't be here where we are today. And I thank each and every one of them. Especially my kids, my coaching staff, and everybody that's helped us to get where we are today. Awesome, Coach. Well, like like I said, thanks for joining us, and um, yeah, we'll 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 see you soon, man. We'll keep right. in touch. Thank you a lot. Thank you we're, a lot. We're gonna we're gonna try to uh, connect you with some of the people we know, and and hopefully we can make a difference, and we can help the program, uh, you know, get to that next level. Thank you. Thank you for having me on here too. All right, Coach, man. Coach, Coach, you let me know when you All want right. me up there, and I'll be there. Yes, for sure. No, like, I'll check you guys right away when when we're ready to work out. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. You guys have a blessed day. You too. You too. All right. All right.